Yes, of course, I'm not at, at liberty to say exactly um, what we do here at, uh, at Bow Manor Hall. Um, all I can say is that it's, it's absolutely uh, vital uh, for, for the war effort. Uh, perhaps I could um, help you a little bit by giving you a, a, a brief history of the site. Now, the site was built and has been owned by the Herrick family for, uh, for centuries now. Um, they sort of made their name initially as ironmongers in the um, early 17th, uh, late 16th, early 17th century. And uh, when the Herrick at that time was knighted in 1605, he was jeweller to James I, and the family were jewellers to Charles I and Charles II, so they survived the Commonwealth period of Oliver Cromwell uh, remarkably well. Um, and of course they built on their wealth uh, thereafter, and they were always improving the homes that they had. Uh, so the current incarnation of the house uh, was built in the Victorian period, a um, massive upgrade um, from the one in the 18th century. And by the 1850s, most of it uh, was complete. So uh, it's, a, it's a lovely place uh, to, to work and be. Uh, and, uh, but uh, since the end of the Herrick line, um, just before the, the Second World War, the war office uh, purchased the entire site. And um, what I can tell you is it now belongs to part of the war office uh, Y group. And there's so many lovely little bits and pieces uh, about Bow Manor Hall that you're forever finding. I mean, for example, this, uh, this behind me here. Is, uh, is a lovely oak throne uh, that was uh, created around about 1690 uh, for one of the oak trees that have fallen in the park. And there's little gems uh, wherever you care to look. And of course, the, the Herrick symbol of the bull, various different places. And when you get to the main staircase, there's a gorgeous stained glass window of uh, all the family heraldry. So it's a, it's a remarkable place to, to, to be and work. But um, if you take a closer look around the estate, of course, we have patrols to deter snoopers, as it were. Uh, because of the highly secretive work uh, that we have here. Um, but if you do observe for a while, you'll notice that some of the buildings aren't quite what they uh, appear to be. And all the buildings on site look like they should belong on a big country estate. Um, but uh, the, the two workmen's cottages, for example, uh, a keen-eyed person might notice that the doors and windows are merely bolted to a brick wall. Um, I can't obviously say what's going on in there, um, but uh, one of the things that we find it very difficult to conceal, of course, is the very large radio uh, transmitter uh, that we have. And um, the wireless transmitter on site uh, is not something easily hidden. Um, whether it's for transmitting or receiving, I, I can't possibly say. Um, but it's very important to, to everything that we do here. And the idea with the buildings on site, whilst we can't conceal the wireless uh, tower, is to give the impression, uh, if anyone was doing aerial, aerial reconnaissance, in this case obviously the Luftwaffe, uh, all they would see is a, is a country estate rather than anything of any interest uh, going on down below. And of course the workers, they live in the surrounding towns and villages like Loughborough, um, Quorn, Switzerland, etc. And, uh, and come in to work the shifts um, every day. So um, any visiting dignitaries, of course, they normally uh, alight uh, from the train at uh, Court Woodhouse Station on the London Northeastern and uh, are met by staff car to be taken around some of the things that we do, uh, but of course uh, not everywhere, because uh, even for the very important people on the site, uh, who come and visit the site rather, um, they're not, at all, not always able to uh, fully engaged, shall we say, with exactly what we do. But um, suffice to say, what we do here is vital for the war effort. Um, it's very, very important, and uh, everything um, will hopefully help us uh, with the war.